Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Dash Point. Okay, so in this photo tutorial, we're gonna learn how to remove a back button from your app bar. Okay, so for example, this is the first screen, and when the user navigates from one screen to another screen, the second screen will have a back button. So here is an example. So you can see this is the back button. So this back button is very useful if your Flutter app is being used in iOS device, as iOS device don't have any back button. Okay, so and if your app has been used in Android devices, so this uh, button is not that much required as we have a back button over here. So to remove this, uh, there is a code. Just go to our code. So here is a main dot dart page. So this is the first screen, and from this screen, the user is being navigated to uh, this screen, fruit details. So here in fruit details, we have a app bar. So if we go to this app bar, so you can see there is a property called as automatic employees leading, and by default it is been set to true. So if it is true, your app button will be visible to a user. So you just need to change it to false. So to do that, here in app bar, just give a comma automatic employee employee leading, and make it to false. Okay, so by making it to false, both your Android and iOS device, the back button will not be visible. Okay, so I don't want to remove this back button from iOS device. I want to just remove when this app is being used in Android devices. So to do that, here, just use a condition. Platform dot iOS. Platform. Dot is iOS. If it is iOS, then set it to true. I want to show the back button. Okay, and if it is not iOS, if it is Android, then set it to false because I don't want to show that button in Android devices. Okay, so now let's restart our app. So you can see app bar has been uh, app bar with back button has been removed. So you can see there is no back button over here. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Hope you got the concept. Please do subscribe Protocol as Point. Thank you.